What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I want to share something with you guys uh, that you may or may not have known. Um, I really didn't know this until I got under there and got to looking at it and noticed it one day. Uh, whenever I got in my truck, I was going to move it across the yard and I didn't have full air pressure and the clutch pedal was really stiff. And uh, so I knew what it was the second that I pressed on the clutch pedal and I couldn't hardly press it. And uh, so I got up on there and got to look and checking it out and the Volvo VNLs have an air assisted clutch slave cylinder. And uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but it's got a valve on the bottom of the slave cylinder down there that whenever it builds up air pressure, I guess whenever you start pressing on the clutch pedal, it senses that and it assists um, whenever you pressed on the clutch pedal, instead of you having to put all your weight on it like you do on say a freight liner or at least the older freight liners, don't know about the new ones, they may have this as well. But uh, this year model of Freightliner, this truck's a 06 Volvo, and 06 Freightliner didn't have anything like this. Maybe they do now, maybe they don't, I don't know. But uh, a friend of mine had one, so 07, and uh, just about had to stand on the clutch pedal. I can imagine that would be very irritating in stop and go traffic, having to mash the clutch and, and whatnot. Uh, the Volvo clutch pedals, one thing I like about the Volvo trucks is uh, the clutch pedals is rather light for a, for a heavy truck. It feels more like uh, maybe a one-ton pickup or something like that. You know, it's it's a firm feel, but it's not overly firm. Like you got to stand on it, feel like the clutch pedal is going to break off. But uh, if you've got a Volvo, you've never noticed that. Pump your brakes down and everything. Uh, you may even have to let it set overnight, uh, depending on I don't know which tank drains. Whenever I noticed it, it had been setting uh, three or four days over the long weekend. And uh, I got in it and I was going to move it out of the way, cut the grass. Um, and uh, so that's when I noticed it, that the clutch pedal was hard. I was a little impatient, didn't want to wait for air to build up. I got like 50 or 60 pounds, so good enough. But evidently, you have to be above about 90 pounds before um, all the accessories work. And I know that's the way my old Volvo was. It had an auto shift in it, and it had to be above 90 pounds before the, uh, the accessories would work, the transmission would go in gear and whatnot. Um, it would work below that if uh, it was already above it and it was coming down a little bit, but it had to get to that point before, I think even the airbags on the front and stuff won't pick up till about that point. But anyway, I was being a little impatient that day and uh, that's when I noticed it. So I don't know if any of you other people have noticed it or know anything about it, but I want to share this. I'm gonna get up under the truck here and actually show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, for those of you who don't know and never noticed it, never seen it. But uh, that's what I really like about one of the things with the Volvos with the, with the manual transmission is you can actually match the clutch pedal. And I noticed that whenever I, I got the truck, how light it was, and I just didn't really think anything about it and uh, until several months later and that occurred and then the clutch pedal was real stiff when I got ready to move it that day. It's like, huh, I know what that's about. This has to build air, it's the air assist. Uh, so I'm gonna get up under here and show you guys a little bit more what I'm talking about. All right guys, so I'm up under the truck here. As you see, this is the clutch slave cylinder. This top line here is your hydraulic line. This is a hydraulic slave cylinder, whereas a, uh, you know, the older freight liners and stuff, and they may still be that way, uses a uh, manual clutch linkage over on the side that's mounted on the frame. It would be over in this area, there'd be a linkage coming down. And it has a rod coming across that works your uh, throw out bearing, releases your clutch and whatnot. But uh, the Volvo uses, like I say, hydraulic line, and that's what this top line here is. This bottom line is the air line that's air assist. Um, and it goes up here to, well, it goes up there somewhere where to the air tank. You can follow that around. All right, I'm trying to follow this line. It's a little difficult. There's so many airlines up in here. That's one thing about the Volvos and stuff I don't like is the amount of airlines and electrical lines to have. Um, constantly something to look at and uh, try to keep repaired. But anyway, it, uh, it comes from right here off the bottom of the uh, 
slave cylinder. It comes up and it goes around, makes a bend, and goes over. And that thing right there, I believe, is tractor protection valve. And basically, it cuts off all the accessories whenever the air pressure gets low. Um, like I was saying, the stuff that's not a necessity, like uh, the airbags on the front, possibly the rear. I'm not sure what all it controls. I don't remember. I know I've changed that on the, uh, the old truck that I had several years ago because it was leaking air. And uh, anyway, but that's what it does is whenever the air pressure gets low, it cuts off a lot of the uh, accessories and stuff that's not a necessity to have, like this clutch assist. You know, you, you want to maintain air in your tanks so you have stopping air for your brakes. And so a lot of the, the non-essential accessories goes through that and whenever the air drops to a certain percent, it uh, will shut those off with not letting any more air go through that. I think the horn goes to it. Um, I don't remember what all, but it, it's several different things. But anyway, that's how it works. It comes down here to this hydraulic slave cylinder right here, as you see. And uh, I'm assuming this vents off air whenever you uh, release the uh, clutch pedal, the air would uh, vent right here that had gone in and assisted. So, like I say, I don't know 100% how it works, but that's, that's my assumption of it. Um, so if you didn't know anything about this, now you do. If you've noticed that your clutch pedal was stiff when you didn't have air, and it's light when you do have air. I got the truck off, it does have air. I'm going to attempt to mash this clutch pedal with my hand, because I'm sure there's a lot of y'all who've never drove a Volvo, don't know anything about it, wouldn't never drive a Volvo. But anyway, um, I'm just going to reach in here in the door with my hand, and I can push the clutch pedal to the floor with my hand. You will not do that with an older Freightliner or a Peterbilt or any of that, I do not believe. And I don't know if you heard that, but I heard the air release out of the hydraulic slave cylinder. I'm going to try to stick the uh, camera up under here, and maybe the camera will pick it up when I mash the clutch and let off. You can hear the air come back. Alright, so that was me mashing the clutch pedal and hopefully you could hear it down there. Like I say, it's a very easy clutch pedal for, for a semi uh, to mash. It doesn't wear your knee out and uh, all that stuff. So that's one good thing I got to say. I don't know if any of the other truck manufacturers are, are doing this. You can leave that in the comments because I don't know. I haven't really messed with anything else um, as far as the new Peterbilts, Kenworths. I don't think they have anything like this, but they could have nowadays. Um, leave in the comments if your truck, if you have a newer model, you know, whatever it is, um, if your truck has something like this, if they're using a hydraulic slave with air assist, or if it's only something Volvo's doing. Uh, Volvo's been doing it for a long time though, because this truck's 06. Anyway, leave in the comments if you guys work at a shop or something and, and you see different manufacturers and how they do things, if anybody else is using a hydraulic clutch with an air assist like Volvo does. I haven't seen it, maybe they are. You would think 2020 that Peterbilt to Kenworth or somebody would be doing this and they may be. Um, I'm just not aware of it. I have not drove one and I have not worked on one uh, later model truck like that. Um, I know in 2007 Freightliner was still using a manual linkage just like they always have. And I know the mid 90s and stuff, Peterbilt's, the older stuff that I've messed with, they used a manual linkage just like they always have. So I don't know if they've moved away from that and went to something like Volvo uses to make it easier for the driver um, or whatnot. I know that's something that a lot of people complain about when you get in heavy traffic uh, is having to constantly mash the clutch pedal and it's hard on your knee to mash the clutch pedal over several years of driving. A lot of drivers have wore out knees and stuff because of that. And uh, the Volvo has addressed a lot of that issue in their standard trucks. I know most of the Volvos nowadays don't even have a standard. You can't hardly find one with a standard. Um, but even in 06, they had the air assist hydraulic slave with the air assist. So anyway, leave in the comments if you run across this on another truck. 
I just thought it was neat whenever I discovered it because I really had never paid any attention. My previous truck had an auto shift and it had an air slave cylinder on it. Whenever you mashed the accelerator pedal, it had an air cylinder that mashed the clutch up under there, released the clutch, um, I should say, and it was calibrated to the accelerator pedal, so it worked totally off of air. Well, this hydraulic clutch is air assist, so that it takes off some of the pressure needed to mash with your foot so it doesn't wear your knee and stuff out as much. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.